I think it is quite understandable that each club foot is different at birth and a very large number are extreme deformities. If you see the huge lapse rate by the contemporary techniques, conservative or surgical. So this new caustic technique has been innovated by the author. Treatment must be started after birth as soon possible and pursued till the walking age about for about one year for best results. However, late presentations before walking age are also treated by this technique. If the deformity still remains undercorrected at one year, surgery is indicated. Protocol for first three weeks after birth only gentle manipulation should be taught and started by the parent size a day. Now the plaster casting technique. This is a this patient is a three weeks old infant with bilateral grade three extreme deformities, and the manipulation is a comprehensive maneuver acting at every joint from ankle to the toes. It should try to undo all the deformities partially at each joint every time. And plaster cast is applied in two parts. First part is a BK plaster cast. The second part casting after the first part sets, it is extended as a above knee hood. The completed cast has been named as BK hoodie or a cobra hood cast due to its resemblance. Now we will start with the right foot deformity. First part, an assistant holds the condylar part of the internally rotated and extended thigh by left hand with the straight thumb along the lateral side over fibular head to prevent constriction of cast there and holding the toes with right hand from front from the great toe side straightening the foot. Adequate cotton pad is applied over the foot and leg covering toes. Wet 3 to 3 or 4 inches bandages is wrapped around the foot and leg remaining about 1 inch distal to flexion crease of the knee behind. Composite foot deformity is now corrected by the comprehensive maneuver acting at every joint from toes to the ankle, correcting all deformities and molding the cast around all contours. The heel equinus and telonavicular dislocations are corrected by pressing at appropriate places to bring down the heel, restoring the decreased telocalcaneal angle and index. When the cast is almost set, the assistant takes out the thumb from the proximal side for molding that part of the cast also. The whole deformity is corrected and maintaining good arterial circulation in the toes. The second part of the cast is an extension of the leg cast in front and sides of a 90% 90-degree flex knee like a hood, leaving the back of the knee free. Assistant holds plastered foot with right hand and thigh close to the grind with left hand, with right knee flexed at 90 degrees. Soft cotton is applied to the thigh and the knee, overlapping the proximal end of the cast. The plastic bandage is applied like tying a turban with six, two, with six circular turns around the knee, covering the front of the leg cast with a couple of up and down overlapping on the front of the knee. The leg portion of the hoodie cast is fixed with one or two circular turns of the POP bandage, leaving the back of the knee crease free. Remove the excess cotton from behind and mold the hood around the bony contours and rounding the edges while the POP sets. The child is more comfortable in this three-fourth cast hood, enabling knee flexion and ventilation. For left foot, the assistant changes his hands. Number and schedule of cast, this cannot be fixed because deformity is polymorphic from mild to more severe and rigid. Presenting it is also variable from birth to a few months and repeat visits may also be irregular sometimes. If the patients come late and deformity is very severe, more weekly casts are given. The best suitable regime is worked out by the treating surgeon with his own experience. In author's experience, this has varied from 8 to 16 casts. Last two casts are below knee at the walking age 
and the child is encouraged to stand and walk about in this cast and then free walking the normal shoes and the deformity gets if the deformity gets corrected early before the walking age a custom fit blow cast single or double posterior plaster molds are applied in over corrected position and advise to the patient till the child starts walking the results will surely prevent relapses and under corrections as reported in the literature if this treatment is given in infancy